But again, thank you for joining us. Um, again, my name is Emily Reinberger, and I'm a Senior Director of Application Services at the American Dental Education Association. And today, we're going to spend a few minutes talking about how do you get in, uh, what happens after you graduate. So you've studied and shadowed, researched and written, interviewed and intensely prepared, and then you got into dental school. And so that's it, right? You've made it. But wait a minute. First of all, congratulations. You've gotten into dental school, and that's a great accomplishment. You should really be proud of yourself. But there will be more decisions that you need to make, like what happens after you graduate? Where do you work? How do you get there? And what career options are there for you once you graduate dental school? Generally, there are a number of occupations that you can hold once you graduate. Most people are general practitioners and begin practicing as a licensed dentist directly after dental school graduation. Others move on to become specialists, researchers, they go into academics and the military, work in an international healthcare setting, or any combination of these. Like I said, most dentists are general practitioners. You'll see here in this information provided by the ADA that 80% of all dentists are general, excuse me, 80% of dentists in private practice are in general dentistry. 20% are in specialties. There are nine recognized dental specialties that students can go on to. They do require additional schooling after graduation and can range from one to six years. 90% of all dentists, both general practitioners and specialists, are in private practice. There are a variety of options for those of you interested in private practice. There is a solo ownership where you buy a practice or begin a practice, a partnership with others, an associate in someone else's practice, or a new model for employment, which is working in a corporate-owned practice. Research is also an option for dental graduates to get into. A lot of faculty in dental schools and research institutions conduct research in basic science, clinical applications, health disparities, and collaboration with medical teams. There are a lot of resources once you're in dental school, and it's a great opportunity for you to talk with faculty doing their research as well as student research groups to discuss options about getting involved. Be becoming an academic dentist is also a great career path. A lot of people, a lot of dentists in academia still practice. There's likely a dental faculty practice at the school you're interested in. There's opportunities to teach and to get into administration. And a lot of academic dentists um, encourage people just to approach the local dental school while you're practicing to see if teaching is right for you. ADEA has a mentorship program called the Academic Dental Careers Fellowship Program that you can become involved in while you're still in dental school. The link here does uh, give you information on how to become um, involved in this program and to be a fellow for a year. There's also the option of going into the military. There's a variety of programs, some for those who have not yet entered dental school and some for those who are graduating. The Army, Navy, and Air Force all have programs for dentists and include things like scholarships and repayment programs. There's also some great benefits like traveling. The other option for graduating students is to, to consider is to work in an international healthcare setting with organizations such as the World Health Organization. The International Federation of Dental Educators and Associations is a great place to start your work if you do plan on working internationally. These are some great alternatives and there are likely more that you can consider. But the premise is that it's never too early to start thinking about what you're going to be doing once you graduate dental school. It's a great time to get exposed to the different specialties, 
talk to your professors about going into academic leadership and looking at all of the alternatives you have once you graduate. You do have a number of years before you graduate, but don't take it for granted. Look into things that you can do while you're in school to inform your decision once you get out of school. Thank you for joining the presentation today. We apologize for the technical difficulties we had at the beginning of the uh, presentation, and we look forward to speaking with you. Unfortunately, my chat bubble is not working, so I can't see your questions, but I can tell you that I will be in the ADIA ADSAS booth for the, next, uh, for the rest of the day today answering your questions. The ADIA ADSAS booth is number one. It'll take me about five minutes, but me and my colleagues will be available to answer your questions about applying to specialties, what happens after you graduate, as well as things like the ADSAS application and admissions process. Thank you again and enjoy the fair.